Hi, on this video, I'm going to show you how to do some adjustments to a Gallhofer front door entry system. Now, this Gallhofer door uses a Simon's Work Tectus hinge. There are three hinges located on this door. This particular hinge allows us to do side to side adjustments, toe in, toe out, or up or down. Here you can see the Simon's Work Tectus hinge. Now there are dust covers that are installed on all three of these hinges. On the top one, I have already removed the dust covers so you can actually see the hinge itself. So in order to remove the dust covers from the hinges, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver. Now these are small machine screws that are easily removed. You need to remove all four of those dust covers from the hinge to access all of the different adjustment settings. The first adjustment I'm going to show you is how to adjust your door side to side. In this particular case, this door is in our showroom and it was working perfectly fine up until again a few moments ago. What I've done is I've actually set the top of this door so that's actually kind of towing out. So it's actually rubbing against the frame on the handle side. Same with the bottom, but I did that in the opposite direction. I've actually adjusted it so that the bottom of the door is actually kicked towards the um, hinge side of the frame and it's rubbing on that side. So the reveals on this door are definitely out of a skew. What you need is a four mil Allen key and you're gonna locate the two screws located directly above and below the main part of the hinge. On the top hinge, I'm going to give it one 180 degree turn in a clockwise direction on the bottom screw and then do the same thing on the top screw. That has now pulled the door back into this direction. I'm going to do the same adjustment on the bottom hinge but in a counterclockwise direction which will then kick the door back towards the hinge or the handle side. On the bottom hinge, I'm going to be adjusting the same two screws with a four mil Allen key. But as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be going in a counterclockwise direction for this bottom hinge because I've already preset up the door sash to be tight against the frame on this side. I want to move the door towards the handle side frame in order to get a proper reveal all the way around the door. So a counterclockwise turn, approximately 180 degrees. Now that door should be set back in its proper position. So now that the side to side adjustments are completed, I'm going to show you how to raise the door. To raise the door, you'll need a four mil Allen key. Now this adjustment takes place on the frame side. What you're going to do on all three of the hinges is that on these two screws, you're just going to slightly loosen these hinges so that the pressure is taken off. You're going to do the top two and then the bottom two in this position. You are also going to loosen the middle screw on the top between the first two screws that you did. That needs to be done on all three hinges. And then you take your formula Allen key, insert it on the bottom screw between the bottom two screws that you just loosened and then give that a clockwise turn and that hinge is now starting to lift. You need to do this procedure with all three hinges in equal increments in order to get a proper adjustment for the door. That raises the door. Once that adjustment is complete, you take your four mil Allen key and then retighten the first four screws. That locks the hinge into position and now also tighten the fifth screw in the middle of the top two screws. That hinge is now secured. Your adjustment is completed.
Once all your adjustments are completed, you can now reinstall the dust covers using the same machine screws that came with them, using a Phillips screwdriver. Once all the dust covers are complete, this job is now finished.